let's take a look at how to flow type along a path. So let's go ahead and create a path with a vector shape here. Let's go to our shape tools and let's choose the ellipse tool. And then up here in the top left, let's change this from shape to path. And I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift so that I draw a perfect circle from the center. Now we have this path that we can flow text around. Let's select the type tool and let's just hover over this path and let's click on the path. And if we type, we can see that we can type on a path. We can of course select this text and we can make it smaller. We can change the font to other fonts and we can of course change the color to other colors. Now what if we wanted to add text on the bottom of this path? We can go ahead and right click on this text and path layer. Let's duplicate it. I'm just gonna call this one bottom and we'll rename this one to top. On the bottom layer, I'm gonna do a free transform with control T and I'm going to rotate this and I'm gonna hold shift so that it kind of snaps. And basically I just flipped it upside down. I'm gonna click on check. Now you may or may not want this text to be upside down. If you don't want it to be upside down, what you can do is you can choose the white arrow tool or the direct selection tool. And then you can just drag your text up to the inside of your circle. And now it's on the inside. Now we need to go to the characters palette to fix one more thing because our type is on opposite sides of the baseline here. This type is on the inner circle. This type is on the outer circle. So we need to go to the type tool. We'll select the bottom type. And then let's go to baseline shift. And let's shift the baseline into the negative. Think about negative 15, maybe negative 16 works pretty well. Let's click on the check to commit. And now our type is on the right side of the circle. Let's go to the pen tool real quick. Let's just tap once, tap a second time and drag, tap a third time and drag. Now we have another path that we can add text to. Let's select the type tool. And we can put some text on that path. Now we'll need to go to the direct selection tool and we'll need to drag on the text itself to kind of reposition it here on the path. And we can kind of flow it around however we like. There's also two little endpoints on the ends that control where the text gets cut off. So you need to expand those outwards for a longer piece of text. If we have multiple paths and we wanna kind of take a look at them and control them, we can also look at the paths panel here you can see we can switch between the different paths. This will give us some options for our paths. We can create new paths. We can create masks from paths. We can create a selection from a path. You'll have to click between each of these layers here to get the different options for those paths. And if you want to delete a path, you can just select work path and click on the trash can and delete it. 